diamond-tipped cutting tool. It's partially hollow and 3D printed. And these things have been around for years. They're designed to cut or mill through side blocks of metal, like aluminium. But why would you 3D print them? In this video, we're looking at the who, how, and why major manufacturers like Goen UK are 3D printing their cutting tools like this. Goering UK are a precision cutting tool manufacturer based in Birmingham. They started in 1973 as the first subsidiary of the Goering Group, which now employs over 8,000 people across the world. Here in the UK, they manufacture tools for companies like BMW, Jaguar Land Rover and BAE Systems. So machining engine blocks is no simple task, and that's why the tools are made for strict specifications and they have to last to keep the production line up and running. And that's a big part of why Goering's carbide and polycrystalline diamond, or PCD cutting tools, are so popular. So this is a PCD tool, and you can see the diamond cutting tips here. But they're not the kind of diamonds that you'd find on a ring. These diamonds are artificial, they're industrial grade, and they have ultra high hardness properties that make them able to cut through metal. So if we look closely here, you can see that the tips are brazed onto the body, which is made of steel. And you might also have noticed these little holes here. Now, this is a very clever design feature that Goering has come up with. And if you're a machinist, you might already know what these are. So let me know in the comments if you already guessed that these are for delivering coolant. So coolant is a critical part of machining. The extreme forces at work generate a lot of heat. And if that's not dissipated, it can damage the tools or the piece of metal that you're working on. A way of dissipating this heat is to spray coolant, also known as cutting fluid, onto the area that's being worked. Now, these fluids are usually a mixture of water, oils and other chemicals that have helpful heat dissipation properties, but they also reduce friction on the tool, so generating less heat in the first place. But depending on the geometry you're working with, it can be quite difficult to deliver coolant to exactly where it's needed. And you can see that tools vary in shape and size quite significantly. This one hasn't had the tips raised onto it yet. So external delivery poses some problems, but that's why these tools are clever. Those holes going through the center of the tool deliver coolant directly to the cutting tips, which is much more effective than spraying it on it externally. So this is actually a relatively new method. Let's have a look at this one here. And if you think about this design, it would have been practically impossible to machine it traditionally. So imagine trying to drill these holes through hardened steel. You'd need a tiny drill bit, tinier than even my fingernail there. Uh, and hardened steel is no joke. It's not very practical. And worse yet, you'd have to hold the part at awkward angles for multiple operations to even have any hope of creating a hole like that. Realistically, it's just not feasible. And even if you could do it, it wouldn't be cost effective. So that's the first reason that Goering 3D print these cutting tools, design for you. With 3D printing, you just leave a gap in the design and it comes off the print bed like that. There's no extra cost or time spent for complexity. Another reason that Goering UK turned to 3D printing was speed of delivery. Every piece of special tooling that they develop has to be designed and approved by the customer. So depending on the size and complexity of the component, it can take up to eight weeks to test, design, and actually manufacture the part in-house. And the work can't even start on the tool until the design has been approved. By 3D printing prototypes and tools, they save a huge amount of time. Alan Pierce, the PCD production supervisor at Goering UK, had the following to say. Within one day, we had designed and printed a tool in Onyx, and we could immediately see if we were going to come up against any problems in manufacturing it. Within five days, we had printed and sintered a fully functional metal cutter body. Using Markforge 3D printers just speeds up everything. Ultimately, they made a time saving of about 66%. It's worth noting though that 3D printing isn't a silver bullet. If you're going to be manufacturing thousands of something, you're going to be better off using traditional methods in most cases due to the economy of scale. For low volume production though, 3D printing is extremely efficient. And that's another reason that Goering adopted it. Traditionally, smaller manufacturers needing lower volumes couldn't justify the cost or the lead times associated with special tooling. But this all changed with metal 3D printing. Alan has more to say on this. We can now make a one-off production part and supply it to a customer in less than one-third of the time and at a lower cost, says Pierce. This ended up being a 75% reduction in cost for low-volume tooling, and this opened up entirely new revenue streams for Goering that were never available before. And even better, it made managing timelines for both existing customers and new ones much simpler. So another interesting factor was reducing tool weight. So this is a metal 3D printed brake lever, and if we look closely, you can see here that there's a hollow infill 
This triangular structure is about 37.5% density. Um, and what this does is it reduces the weight of the tool by about 60%. Now, these are hefty pieces of kit. If I pick this up, you can see it's not, uh, not exactly a feather. And reducing the weight by that much actually makes it easier for these tools to be changed out. So that improves cycle times in the CNC machine. So that's a bit of insight into why manufacturers are 3D printing with metal and composites. If you'd like to read Goering's full story, you can get the case study PDFs with links in the description. The 3D printers that Goering UK are using are the Markforge Metal X, which is a filament-based metal printer, and the Markforge Mark II, which is the composite 3D printer. If you want to learn about the machines, again, links in the description. If this video was interesting or helpful to you, you can help me out personally by liking the video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to the channel. Last of all, we're offering 3D printed samples to companies in the UK. We sell these machines and we're experts in Markforged 3D printers, which are designed for engineers. So if you'd like to test a theory or have a free consultation with one of our team, again, the link is below. Thanks for joining me in this video, and here are some others that might be interesting.